Today we're at Seneca Sporting Range in Ridgewood, New York to shoot beer bottles as we celebrate one of life's greatest pleasures, Guinness. That's me, the photographer, Marshall Troy, and I love Guinness. They make the preeminent draft bottle and I want to compose an image that demonstrates its pure genius. Picture this, a freshly poured pint of Guinness. Next to it, a row of three other bottled beers at the moment of explosion as a Guinness bottle cap rifles through them. The cap comes to a dramatic halt, bink, as it fails to penetrate the iconic Guinness. This is an extremely technical shot, requires some specialized equipment. I'm using brawn color packs and heads with a flash duration at one ten thousandth of a second, quick enough to freeze the exploding bottles. I'm also using the Phase 1 IQ 280 digital back for its amazing image quality. We'll have to do a lot of testing to get this right. We are shooting in near complete darkness with about a half a second exposure, allowing just the right amount of time for the gun to fire and the bottles to explode. When you fire is when the trigger fires because I, we have it set up to a sound trigger. So when it hears the gunshot, the flash trigger. So I just have to, I have to add a, another millisecond delay on it normally. John DeLoca is the owner of the gun range and he'll be firing the guns for us today. I'm ready when you are. Move the label up like crazy too. Bullet, yeah, right? bullet, bullet's gone by the time the shot comes through. That's beautiful. During the process while getting the timing down, we found that if we were shooting the bottles with the caps sealed, unsealed, and empty, we were able to achieve some really outstanding results. Sounded good. Nice shot. Great shot, great shot. Boom, that's great the shot. one. Next, it's back to the studio to shoot a perfectly poured Guinness and overlay into the shots we took today. I'm very pleased to show you the final result, proving once again it's a lovely day for a Guinness.